Well, Jamie Osborne as a fullback, I, I, I obviously it's a bit of a surprise because I thought Jimmy O'Brien would start it. I think Jimmy O'Brien is a brilliant player. He's proven himself as a winger fullback and always been superb for Leinster in Ireland. Top quality player, and he's the more most like for like uh, Hugo Keenan uh, type fullback. Um, Keenan has been amazing for Ireland for the last number of years, world class. Uh, Mac Hansen missing is a loss as well. Um, Calvin Nash did really well in the Six Nations, so it's a big challenge for him. It's something new for him. He was there with Munster in, in Loftus. Calvin Nash played brilliant with Munster beating the Bulls there back in April and then beating the Lions. So, um, I think Jamie Osborne, you know, his experience of, you know, he, I think I looked at that team that, that played against the Bulls in that semi final, and I think there was only two or three players in that 23 who had played in South Africa before. It tells you how many times Leinster have sent their, their, their front liners to South Africa. They haven't needed to over the years, maybe. Um, well, they've made that decision, whether it's right or wrong. Um, I think most, most people would love to see, um, you know, see see them uh, in the URC more, uh, you know, the strongest team down there at times. Uh, but Jamie Osborne's a brilliant player. I think I've been very impressed with him. He is strong, he's physical, he's a brilliant left boot. And, you know, he's played a lot of his underage rugby in, in at full back as well. So I think he's capable of doing it. I think South Africa will certainly test him. Uh, Faf de Clerc, Pollard, they'll put up high bombs no matter who's in the, in the backfield. Um, so you just kind of hope if this happens that the first one or two that he gets uh, put up against him that he he wins them and starts the game well because uh, the crowd getting your back there as well and and uh, if they sense any sort of nervousness um, they'll go after him but I think he's a very calm player and I think he's a very short so in a sense it's a surprise but I wouldn't have any problem with it I think it could be a master plan it could be a brilliant opportunity to bring in somebody who is big and physical and has great vision as well. And uh, he could have, you know, it could work in their favor as well. Any of these selections like that, they can always backfire. You know, we go back to the Robbie Henshaw one a few years ago when, when Joe put him at full back and he wanted to have, there's always a danger of ha trying to have your best uh, players on the field but not certainly in their positions and that's what happened with Robbie Henshaw trying to find a place for him on the team and have Ringrose and, and Bundyaki in the centres it didn't work and um, so who knows I think they'll they'll certainly be aware of that if it happens but I think he's a brilliant player and he's someone who uh, is going to have a long international career